I've been avoiding. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I've been, I've been avoiding Twitter all effing day. Due to COVID-19 release dates and other information presented in this video are subject to change. Oh, that sucks. Oh, shit. Sounds good? I don't know, but let's see. I know they're going to have to talk about... Ago, oh, yes. Two great titans came into existence. Xenoblade. The Bionis. And Mechonis. Dude, this game is so good. The Holy titans fuck. Were locked in a timeless battle. How you play this great? Until at last. Only their lifeless corpses remained. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Huh? In the sky. This can't be. No way. It's a Macon. Commence the assault on Bionis. They look so good. The Manado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. If we could just unlock the Monado's power. It's my turn! Shulk! No! It'll kill you! Shulk! <laughs> Holy there was shit. something strange. It was as if I could see into the future. I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you could do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. And so it <laughs> Holy begins. Shit. The resurrection of the Bionis. I've been waiting for you, Monado boy. The future I see, it isn't set. Melia! So I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Mechon. It's not over. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. May 29? There's no fucking way. May 29 in two months? Melia. Wait a minute. What is this? A sequel? There's no fucking way. If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. Wait, what I is this? To go. A sequel? <laughs> the ultimate yeah. version of a modern classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On Nintendo Switch, the game looks better and plays smoother than ever before. This game is fantastic. The battle HUD and menu screens are easy to read and easy to use. And some of the music has been <coughs> re-recorded. Now you can fully immerse in the majesty of this vast world. And Calm. a new epilogue, a new story, Future Connected, will cap off the main game. So if you've played and loved the original game, you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure. Oh man, Shulk. come on, this looks fantastic, man. Fuck. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May 29th. Two months. And you can pre-purchase the game starting today. Also, coming on May 29th, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Works set will pack in a 250-page art book. Fuck you! I I don't have the money! <laughs> oh, Hi, man. Welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini. All right, that is We've got news fantastic. on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, <laughs> and we're focusing oh, on oh, a it looks so good. coming out this year. Do you ever play now, it, Greg? Let's roll through some headlines, shall we? Like the original on the Wii or the 3DS? Three of 2K's most beloved series are coming soon to the Nintendo Switch system. Basketball, basketball, and basketball. On the Wii. Woo! Oh, shit. Bioshock. 
Bro, you gotta play this game and finish it. It's honestly one of the best RPGs I've played. Story-wise. Graphics, eh. Story-wise, holy shit. I've never played Bioshock 2 or Infinite. I just finished the first one. Like the Borderlands? Oh, wow. What else? They said three. Wait, 2K? Why did I say 2K was <laughs> basketball? <laughs> XCOM. Holy shit. They are bringing the big guns. A lot of classics to the Switch. I mean, I guess it's a no-brainer, right? Re-release old games on the Switch, get a shit ton of, of purchases, make a lot of money. And people will pay money to play, play this on a handheld. Because sure as fucking hell, the Vita couldn't handle it. <laughs> wow. May 29 too? What the fuck? Old enemies face off in a new trailer for the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order Expansion Pass. Eh, I don't like Marvel. Or DC for that matter. So I've never been a superhero so fan. Oh man. You are no match for Doom's power. Richards. We're not going down without a fight. We have a universe to save. You are wasting your time, fools. Doom always prevails. You're the same, Steve. I honestly don't really like Marvel. Or DC, and that goes that goes beyond the games. Like movies, they're like, eh. In the darkest depths of the ocean lies a really fun game. If there's one thing I don't like, of the human race, forced by global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. If there's something I don't like, it's underwater you collect games. To upgrade your gear. I'm terrified of underwater shit. Into the abyss. As you explore increasingly hostile environments, you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. And if that's not challenging enough, Shinsekai's time attack mode, Another Dive, boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, culminating with a final monstrous threat. This sounds you know, like a very annoying Metroidvania so roguelite game. <laughs> feature. It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. The time has come to discover the truth hidden beneath the ocean's surface. When Shinsekai Into the Depths launches on like the having Nintendo to Switch manage today. Oh, today! Holy shit! Having to manage your oxygen in a Metroidvania game? Hell your best no! Deserted island life, thanks to this free update. Greg, I want to play this game Enjoying so fucking bad. Animal Crossing New Horizons game? I don't know well, why. Whether you're already living it up on the island. Or you're still planning your departure. I see everybody There's playing it. Coming up and we're happy to spill the beans. And everybody Earth fucking practice. loving the game. I don't know what's that see, about. After downloading the free update we made available at launch, one zipper T Bunny will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day in early April. Hippity skippity hoppity ho. Can you hunt down the egg zipper head everywhere? Plus, you can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. The Bunny Day event only comes once a year, this time from April 1st to April 12th, so be sure to participate. And guess what? There's another free update coming later in April. It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Of course, we'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account, and other channels too. So, stay tuned. Sounds good. I'm not playing the game, but we I like to watch streamers play it. <laughs> about your life on the deserted island.
So I sure as hell have no idea what it's all about. Hey, look, someone's hiring. Oh, I need a job. <laughs> oh, this is your dad's company? Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Apparently, they offer a wide range of services. The job description entails many responsibilities. You'll deliver items. Mop the floor. I can do that. Maintain a comfortable work environment. They're trusting you with crane operation. Okay. And other tough tasks. Uh-oh. That projector won't do. Hmm. Think you can take care of that? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner or <laughs> opt for more creative solutions, do what you need to do to get the job done. <laughs> <coughs> That'd probably be me and uh, <laughs> Hopefully you're ready to join the team and be put to work immediately because good job launches today. Wow. <laughs> that looks like fun. <laughs> Catherine full body, the mature action adventure puzzler is coming to Nintendo Switch. There's, fuck. This Constant is the perfect the way to play this game. His relationship. Commitment phobic Vincent finds himself pulled into the allure on a handheld love. Looks like to poor me. Vincent's caught in a love quadrangle with Catherine, Catherine with a C, and Rin. Little does he know, temptation might lead to his own demise. Did any of you play this game? Classic, your choices will affect how the relationship unfold, and it only gets weirder. Deservedly, not only is Vincent riddled with guilt during the day, he's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb in order to survive and see another day. Find out if love is over for our troubled bachelor in this dark, intense, and intoxicating story when Catherine Full Body releases on Nintendo Switch July 7th. Looks good. The update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will pump up its audio. The game, the first game is good. I'm just way too stupid. Mix things up with the new rhythm game mode. If you want to set a high score, you got to get your body moving to the beat. Speaking of, there are 17 music tracks in the rhythm game. I agree. We're talking music from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. On top of that, new levels. I feel my power returning. Sonic? <laughs> Your companion, Ring, will now have a female voice option. Nicely done. Move. Abgard. And you'll also be able to change languages. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. We're also adding in a new jogging option in both the custom and quick play modes. When you're not in a battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. And that's it, just running. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. That's a lot of things releasing right now. And that's good. Better open the gates, one treasured TRPG approaches. This one is for you, Greg. Since 1990, the King's Bounty series has been influencing the evolution of Western RPGs. And now it's back with a fresh look and a new approach. This straight up sequel will pit army against army, sending the player on a quest around the world to save the world. Wait, this is a this sequel? Time, the graphics are more realistic. Your I didn't even know there was a first game. Ever. And so does the terrain you stand on. So master your surroundings like the master strategist you are. Across the land, you'll meet new people whose ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. Find out just how deep the gameplay will get when King's Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch. Bro, the older I get, the less I want to play strategy games. Holy shit. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate News approaches. Ooh, Sakurai. The fighter included in Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC will be... No way, who, who is it going to be? Arms? Joining the battle from arms. This fighter is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms. So we'll have to extend... There you go, yeah, I mean... Too. Wait. Stay tuned for just a bit longer. 
The next fighter will be announced and released this June. Oh shit, I haven't even fire, uh, finished Fire Emblem. So. <laughs> Don't miss this ARMS game trial. Ooh, Greg, download it, let's play. A free game trial of ARMS will be available exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online members. These elite fighting superstars share one thing in common, extendable arms. So equip super powered arms to create a slew of combinations. For a limited time, you can try out the full game for free. <sighs> now, what is let's it, two weeks? Get stretchy. Like a week and a half. Feeling good? Well, yeah. all right. Then how about we take a nice long look at Bravely Default 2? Oh, yes! The first one is so good. Uh, where, where am I? I can't believe I survived. Is this a sequel to the first one? Nope. Fire, water, wind, earth, nature's master. Holy shit, it the looks so good. The power exceeds the hand of man. And if unleashed, would bring down death. Disaster. This Come looks like a 3D Octopath Traveler. Heroes of Light, may the crystals guide you. This is the crystal's blessing. Who swear the details, eh? And don't stand on ceremony either. If I've helped even one person, then I've done the right thing. Bro, this is this. The first one is fantastic. This tale unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to five mighty kingdoms. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, washes up on the shores of one such kingdom. Well, at least I'm alive. Here, he meets Gloria of Musa, a princess who was forced to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. You dare claim the crystals? You do not know their worth. He also encounters two travelers determined to decipher a mysterious and magical book. Elvis and Adele. I have a certain special book to be deciphering. We're not friends or anything. I'm just here because he hired me. As if guided by fate, our heroes join forces and set off together on a grand mission, each filled with a sense of purpose. But there will be those who stand in their way. Those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks. These stones allow their holders to take on jobs, such as thief or black mage, yeah. becoming infinitely more powerful in the process. You basically have to fight a boss to get a new okay, job. Let's do this. Steal their job. <laughs> I shall steal it all. Every last treasure in the empire. During battle, you must decide when to use brave points or BP. These the BP, Greg, the are the same as the ones system. in the key to victory and Octopath Traveler. Knowing when to use the brave and default commands. Choose brave to spend BP in order to allow characters to perform additional actions. Choose default to order a character to guard, reclaiming a BP in the process. Strategically hold back or take multiple actions in one turn. To make the right choice, you must consider your character's roles and statuses at all times. Should you manage to fell an asterisk holder, well, I mean, you will acquire. I guess there's a lot of people that never played job. the first two. Jobs can be right? combined at will, greatly expanding your strategic options. And, and I mean, they the always do this with every characters. major release of one of their games, right? Now for a little they explain everything in Zelda when they announced it, the even though you, everybody today. knows Zelda. And in the near future, we'll conduct a survey to gather feedback and incorporate what we can as we finalize the game. I wrote we the first guide, well, the guy for the first game with other Greg. The latest entry in Square Enix's beloved series, Bravely Default, and Two, it's honestly this year. Fantastic! The game is incredible. 
Hope you're having fun. Let's keep this good news train a moving. I thank you. Tabletop classics from around the world will come together on Nintendo Switch. There you go. There's my guide. If you guys want to look at it. Wait a minute. What is this? Clubhouse. This is for Greg when he gets fucking drunk. Every single game <laughs> included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Menkala, Hanafuda, Backgammon, Renegade, Checkers, President, Dominoes, Speed, Heron Hounds, Blackjack, Four in a Row, Chess, Shogi, Mini Shogi, Ludo, Richie Mahjong, Sevens, Golf, Dark, Holy Shit, Hold'em, Nine <laughs> Men's Morris, Air Hockey, War, Carom, Chinese Checkers, what the dice, fuck? Takoyaki, Billiards. Hex, Spider Solitaire, Gomaku, How many games Hachi, does it have? Bowling, shooting Gallery, Slot Cards, Dots and Boxes, Hit and Blow, 37, Tale, 38? Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, Toy Boxing, Toy Baseball, Battle Tanks, Team Tanks, Sliding Puzzle, and Six Ball Puzzle. Phew, <laughs> that really fuck? is 51 games. <laughs> and there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people, playing via local wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported too. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. Play to your heart's content. This is definitely for Greg when with he's Clubhouse on a couple games, 51 worldwide classics. Launches Margaritas. On Switch, June 5th. <laughs> Pre-purchase begins today. Oh man, 51 games for the price of one. Will you can't beat that, Greg. Ninja, please stand up. Wait, 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 what? Wait, what was that? Oh, I didn't see. So you're the ultimate ninja, are you? Am I? Well then, prove it in battle. Okay. As one of eight players, you must earn the most points to claim victory. Sprint across stages. And show off your gum ninjutsu like only you can. By chewing ninja gum, you can dash at high speeds. Disguise yourself. Okay, this looks fun. And wield an arsenal of skills. <laughs> if I'm being honest. And speaking of arsenals, from heady hitting hammers to fast and flashy katanas to Is this an indie game? Yo -yos, your choice of equipment could mean the difference between domination and defeat. This you looks like arms plans, so and Splatoon had a baby. Four on four team battles that prove ninjas are most clever when they work together. Will your efforts end in gummy disaster? Or prove you're the master? When Ninjala sneaks up on Nintendo Switch, May 27th. Ninjala. Hey, it's free to play too. Oh, nice. I'm going to play that one. Check out what you can play on Nintendo Switch. Okay. Enter Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy to learn the ways of the Force. I've never Customize watched a Star Wars look, movie. Play a role in this Star Wars story. Is that bad? Online with up to 16 players. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Switch today. This game looks so bad. Ready to strap in because Star Wars Episode One Racer is coming soon. Is this a game from many years ago? Remade Dragon Riding Classic. You'll yeah. pilot the Blue Dragon through incredible landscapes. Wait, this is Panzer Dragoon. Giant creatures and lethal battleships. Right. Using 360 degree controls and lock-on targeting. It's your destiny to reach the tower or die trying. Okay. Yeah. Panzer Dragoon Remake launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive today. Time console exclusive. Well, I'm happy I'm not the other one. And the only one Nintendo Switch. that's never watched a Star Wars movie. <laughs> oh, Greg! Trails of Mana! This is gonna be fucking amazing. Do you, sir? Elder Scroll Blades. This game is so bad. Warhammer for 40,000? Wait, don't tell me this is over already. Oh no. Bigger. Burnout Paradise? Didn't this one come a couple years ago? The remaster? Saints Row 4?
Trails of Cold Steel 3. What a fantastic game. I need to platinum this game so bad. I'm a couple trophies away. Mr. Driller Drill Land. Minecraft Dungeons. They say this game is really good. Well, I don't know if it's, it's true. Been fun, but today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. Thank this goodness. This is our last news of the day. Uh oh, what's it gonna be? Something big. Uh. Now for the latest information on the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. I need to finish this game too. With an expansion pass, the world of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible in the Galar region. It's a new adventure to embark on with new hey, people to meet along up? the way. Today we have some follow-up information about part one, the Isle of Armor. On the Isle of Armor lies a dojo for Pokemon battles where trainers gather to master their skills. And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon, Cub Fu from the master, Mustard. Through your training with Cub Fu, you will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists. Is there gonna the be a Detective Pikachu for Switch? You will enter Steve? one of two towers, the Tower of Darkness or the Tower of Waters. You may only choose one, and you and Cub Fu must face this challenge alone. Once you've conquered one of the towers, Cub Fu will evolve into Urshifu. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn Single Strike style. But if you choose the Tower of Waters, it will learn Rapid Strike style. Dark or Water, the choice is yours and yours alone. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokemon, be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon, will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward for your adventure on the Isle of Armor. So, let's <laughs> take a look at each Pokemon's Gigantamax form moves. All right, that's Taking dope. A giant drum and controlling its roots, it's G-Max Drum Solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot, it's G-Max Fireball. I have the water one, the that one. Water from 130 feet up, it's G-Max Hydro Snipe. You have These a fucking sniper now in, in Pokemon? Colors. And when used, <laughs> the opponent's abilities have no effect when they're attacking. So they make your starter really OP. New outfit items and hairstyles, there will also be new league card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Now you All right, have even that's, more that's customizations nice. to use to show off your personality. That's dope. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1, The Isle of Armor, will launch by the end of June. Also, for those of you who purchased the expansion pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. Starting today, during max raid battles in the wild area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword, and Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Charizard? Other trainers Ooh. to take on this challenge together. Yes. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching. That's it. Uh, come on. I'm sorry, bro. The best thing about the whole Nintendo Direct was the Xenoblade part. Huh? In the sky. Like this is single-handedly one of the best songs in an RPG. The Monado's power. It's my turn. Shulk. No, I don't know why. It'll kill you. Shulk. <laughs> there was something strange. Holy shit, I can't wait for this game. Could see into the future. Again. I know you won't believe uh. this, but Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you could do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. The Monado. And so it begins. 
the resurrection of the Bionis. I've been waiting for you, Monado boy. The future I see. Did you ever play this game, Steve? Father! So I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Oh that's shit, my arm. It's not over. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. Steve, I I remember you told me yesterday that you have that you have a switch. Please, for the love of everything that's holy, play this game. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's one of the best RPGs I've played. And I play a lot. 